with a very special award presented to you by the Righteous Conversations Project and the Los Angeles Museum of the Holocaust and the Los Angeles Jewish Film Festival. And this young man. And I remember fantastic work. He's very special. He was one of the people who created, well, the parachutes are yours, weren't they? And several other things. I'd love for him to give a special hand. The Los Angeles um, Jewish Film Festival and um, the Righteous Conversations Project um, for your heroism, your contributions to humanity, and um, to educating the next generation about, about the Holocaust and your story. Thank you. overwhelmed and I thank you I thank you and I thank the project ace lady of brilliant brilliant production not just this one which I have not seen in total and really appreciate and I am very very happy about your reaction really and I hope my little message of keeping the interest and keeping Holocaust remembrance and education alive will help us honor those who didn't make it. Thank you. And if we're gonna, there's going to be a Q&A with Kurt after the, the full screening as well, but um, Robert, just in this little brief time, would you like to share some anecdote? Or One of the most amazing um, parts about working on the film was hearing the way Kurt um, to uh, told and tells his story. Sherry just commented to me during the film. It's like a piece of music listening um, to the way he's telling his story. Um, there's something really special about him as a person and the way um, he gets young people like me to relate to him and to to his experiences that were really extremely, I mean, difficult um, during the time of the Holocaust and World War II. So that was one of the most amazing parts about working with Sherry, uh, Kurt, and Sam um, last summer. So. And, and just one other quick question. Um, how old were you when you made this film last summer and had you ever made a film before? I was um, four, 14. Yes, 14. Yeah. Had you made a film before? I actually have, yeah. Okay, we'll <laughs> do your first. All right. yeah. So, yeah. Okay. But I just want to say thank you to Kurt because obviously the film um, and his interview um, wouldn't, wouldn't have made this possible. And everyone else who um, worked on the film as well. Thank you. Thank you. And I could continue, but I'm happy to ask or listen to questions, which you will be good enough to forward. Does anybody have a question? Yes, this gentleman. Did, did you ever have contact again with the uh, two uh, soldiers who parachuted into your farm? He asked if you ever had contact again with the two soldiers who parachuted in that you helped. Very much so, very much so with one who immediately invited me to Akron, Ohio. His name was Tom Wilcox, and I was celebrated. And uh, the other one, um, uh, Mac uh, Mac McNeil, uh, Fred McNeil, uh, had no contact with me directly, but I had a letter from his wife and as fate will have it, on Yom Kippur last year, the rabbi at the temple that we go to arranged an incredible meeting where family of McNeil and one of the children, 
now a grandmother, were invited to my surprise on the stage. And I was made aware that all of a sudden, to realize that what Nico and Hannah and I were able to do has brought about new generations. And we had also a reunion at the Fazetshuis in Amsterdam where 35 of the original children and families, new families, showed up. And it was an incredible experience that life goes on and hopefully we all have changes to the positive. And if not, let's pull back a little bit, make a new choice, and that'll be a positive one. Thank you so very much. Thank you.